And our team coverage continues now as the Coachella Music Festival makes its return. News Channel 3's Jake Ingracia is live near the festival grounds at the Empire Polo Club with more on the impact on local residents. Hey, Jake. Hey, Peter, good evening to you. We are here live tonight at the Ralphs here on Jefferson and 50th, this shopping center known for being infamous for being crowded these three festival weekends. But some of the people we talked to today say besides maybe needing to use a different grocery store or encountering some traffic out on the roads, the festival here, a pretty good thing to have in town. Yeah, I see a lot of people at time I left it. As the excitement builds for the first Coachella Weekend 1 since 2019, locals are welcoming the visitors to town. I love all the young people in the area, and I think it's great. I love seeing younger people, you know, the more the merrier. So it's great because most of the time we just see us blue-haired blue set. <laughs> I think the roads are more crowded. That's about all I've seen. Traffic starting to build ahead of the first of three festival weekends in the valley. But for many here, it's become routine. Huge difference between yesterday and today. Charles McBriar noticed festival goers crowding his usual grocery store, so he and his wife changed their course. We couldn't get in the Ralph's parking lot on uh, Jefferson, so uh, we came here. It's good for all of our economy. It's wonderful. The noise from the festival, for some, is an expected impact that doesn't bother them much. We're used to it, and luckily we're here only a couple miles away, so we hear Coachella at night. You That's great. The noise. Yeah, well, this, yeah, the music and stuff. Yeah, we hear it, but just, just, it seems like it's far away, and it's not a big deal. And as for unruly party people. Well, no one we spoke to was worried. I think that everybody's been pretty respectful, too, who's coming for the concert. Everybody gets a bad rap. I think that Airbnb should be allowed in Coachella Valley. I think it's fantastic. Festival weekend in the Valley being well received by residents. Everybody having fun, that's the best thing ever. Can't complain at all. Yeah, a lot of fun bringing Coachella back into town, finally here for weekend one. Now, as for those traffic impacts, people tell me that compared to years past, it seems that the festival and the authorities here locally have figured out the best plan. Those impacts, they say, seem at this point minimal. We're live tonight in Indio, Jake Ingracia, News Channel 3.